Hey guys, the awesome here face here. We're back at our little fly tying station, making some more flies. And uh, today we're gonna do my uh, make, my favorite tarpon fly. I was just down in Florida for a few days and managed to hook up on nine juvie tarpons, tarpons and managed to land zero. Well done. Anyway, at least I hooked up and had some fun. So this was the guy that was doing the trick the whole time. So. I'm gonna show you how to make that super easy tie and very, very effective. Uh, had a couple of snooks after it too and landed a few ladyfish. So most of the stuff will hit it, but especially the juvie tarpon seems to really, really like it. So give this thing a go. You can tie it up in different sizes. I think my problem was actually I had a, uh, my, my hooks were too big for the size tarpon I was hooking up on. These tarpons were uh, four to 10 pounds kind of tarpon. I think this is more of a 20 pound plus size fly that I'm making in this video, but you can make it on smaller hooks or bigger hooks, depending on the size tarpon you're chasing. So anyway, let's get to it. All right, guys. So for this fly, we need a little ackle, purple bucktail, black bucktail and some purple flash. I'm using a two out mustard hook. I like this hook because it's nice and sturdy. Uh, you can use whatever other hooks you want and make this fly in any size you really want. It's great for juvenile tarpon. And then I'm using 316 uh, hologram ice. So that's what you need. So. Let's get to it. So lay down your thread like that. And the first thing we're gonna do is prep our hackle. And um, I got him about a finger length long. And I'm gonna lay him so the, the bend, as you can see here, goes away from the hook. And I'll start just laying the one in on one side of the hook. Like so, and one on the other side. And you can play around with making this, you know, the way you want it. When they get wet, they're gonna kind of get together anyway. There you go, lay that nice in there. Then, Next up, I start out with some black bucktail, and you don't need much. A, a pinch of that. So let's get rid of the, the short ones. Like so, there we go. All right, reverse that, lay it down to the bend of the hook, give it two rounds. You don't have to tighten this up very hard right now. And then twist it around so you get it all the way around the hook. Nice like that. Then tighten that up. And should spread out a little bit. Give it a few wraps. Like that. Trim. So, and I use a straw like this to push all the hair back. So I'll be pushing it back like so. Do it a couple of times to get, get it all. Grab it there and then 
tie that down real nice now I would give that a little dab of glue just to make sure that it stays stays put sorry tape issues so just a little dab of glue there give it a few more and that is good now next up purple and well, same size pinch you can play around with this depending on the size of the hook and oops same thing let's get rid of the smaller guys give it a little flicker reverse that and lay it pretty close to the end of the black bucktail. Oh, we lost a few. That's all right. So twist that around the hook again. Getting up, tighten up. You can see how they spread. Give it a few more wraps. And don't have to go crazy in the trim, but you don't want too much back there because it'll you'll struggle bending the bending the hairs back, laying the hairs down. So that should do. I might give it a few more wraps after that. There we go. Back to our little straw, pushing it back. It's always going to be a couple stragglers, so do it a couple of times. And same thing again. Lay that guy down. Don't want to tighten it too much. If you tighten it too much, this thing is going to kind of come back out again. So you just kind of tighten enough where it opens a little bit, but you don't want it to stand up, totally stand up. So wrap that real good, kind of create a little bit of a head. You can lay it further back if you feel like the hair is gonna lay down a little bit more. And then just really build up a head there. So now I take a little bit of purple flash, maybe I don't know, 10, 10 full strands. Cut that. And then up, cut that in half. And then what I do here is I will lay that down the top, wrap it, Twice. I don't need this to be spread all the way around, but just so it's kind of on the sides and on top, so you got a little bit of everywhere. Give it a few more wraps. Back to a little straw helper here. Pull it back. And Sorry, a little too much thread out here. Like that. This hook, it's easier to work with sort of a short amount of thread, so it's not too long. So I'll pull that back a little bit. That's where the creating that head underneath really helps, because now you're creating a build up up until that head underneath. Run it out again. And 
whip finish. Give it a couple. So you can fish this one as is right now. It works great. What I really like to do is I like to add the eyes. So I will take a couple of eyes and these are sticky ones. I'll just stick them right on the side of the, as you can see right here. And do the same on the opposite side. Like so. Make sure they're somewhat even right there. There you go. I'll take my UV glue and lay right between the eyes. Nice little trip. Cure that. Turn them around. Do the same underneath. Boop. Nice little dab. Cure that up. And there you got it. This is a super, super good fly for tarpon and, uh, and snook. You can tie it up in any collars you want, really, obviously. So looks like that. Uh, I tie up a few of them, as you can see here. And yeah, really, really good fly, especially for juvenile tarpon. All right, there you go, guys. As you can see, it's a pretty simple fly to tie. Uh, love this thing. Don't go to Florida without it. If you want to chase some some tarpon, Mexico, wherever you're going, uh, bring a couple of these along. Um, there's plenty of other tarpon flies, but these ones, for some reason, the black and purple for juvie tarpons just seems to be working great. So go give them a go. Let me know if you catch anything, you have any questions. Please like and subscribe and uh, get a chance to win one of these caps. And uh, yeah, have a good day, guys. See you in the next one.